Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Funko Horror Classics Vinyl Figures Mystery Minis. Recommended for ages 17 and up, these also contain a choking hazard as they could contain small parts. Spot picked up two of these, though likely, yes indeed, will likely go back and pick up more of these. I don't think there's a single character here that I don't, I don't want to add to my collection. On the front, Freddy Krueger. Your opinions as to whether that is the... Jackie Earl Haley, Freddy Krueger, or Robert Englund. That definitely looks like Freddy vs. Jason, Jason Voorhees, also included in this set. Turn around to the side. Hannibal Lecter, Michael Myers, also rounding it up. Parental advisory explicit content down below. And on the back. Oh, there's Leatherface and Chucky. On the back, though, all the characters that make up this series. Look for rare glow-in-the-dark blood-splattered versions as well. Let's investigate further. We've got Freddy Krueger, Hannibal Lecter, Leatherface, Chucky, Michael Myers, Ghostface. Right here, of course, Jason Voorhees, Ash. We've got Billy the Puppet. we got Sam. we got Pennywise. We've got Guy from the House of a Thousand Corpses. His name draws a blank right now. Chucky. We've got another Jason, which looks like it's more the NES Jason. Leatherface and Glow in the Dark, Pennywise. Draw a blank. Draw a blank. On the underside, Funko. Of course, just breaking down the characters here. Maybe I can actually look through here. Mmm. I like to hum when I look through things. No, I don't see it. No, I don't see it. Anyways, any who's. Funko. You can go to www.funko.com. I only got two of these. I have no idea which ones these two are, but I'm hoping they're going to be really, really cool. At least a Freddy Krueger and at least a Michael Myers. But I can tell you, Spot will get more of these. Don't worry. I got myself a knife. A knife. Captain Spaulding. No, that's, it's actually Hank. Captain Spaulding is, is the other clown. Everybody loves a clown, so why don't you? Your clown is trying to kill my husband. Yes, I'll hold. Everybody loves a clown, so why don't you? Hey, this is what you probably missed. Somebody set this thing to evil. Where are we going? What is going on? Let's open it up. Inside, it's blind bagged. I would like to say, uh, let's just play feelsies, but you know what? I'm too excited. Let's just open it up and get right to it. Inside, got ourselves Leatherface. <laughs> nice! Once again, Funko delivers with really nice paint jobs and detail. You get a little simplified version of Leatherface with his chainsaw intact. He's got some arm hair and, of course, his mask. He's got a little bit on his apron, which, surprisingly, the splatter kind of looks like the Mickey Mouse logo. I don't know if there's a coincidence there. Maybe Disney has bought up the rights for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Could you imagine a Texas Chainsaw Massacre Disney movie? Mary Poppins better watch herself. That's all I have to say. On the underside, say, oh, it actually says uh, Kim Hinkle, Hinkle and Toby Hooper. Very nice. 1974. So they actually give you the dates of these pieces. Uh, it doesn't look like there is any articulation. I would have thought maybe his head would have rotated, but no, Leatherface is Staction. Staction means it doesn't move. It just it just does what it's doing right now. Let's open up the next one, find out which one is going to be joining us on this adventure. Yes, I know, I just crudely cut it. It still did it what it needed to do. And let's open this up. I know which one is coming along with Leatherface. Come on, something good. I mean, really, they're all good. I, I don't think I have one where I'm, I'm thinking, ah, I really don't want it. It. I don't say the name in case I jinx it. Let's put that right there. And opening up the next bag. I'm cr 
creating this level of debris everywhere. I'm not really sure where it's coming from, but the next character to join us is Pennywise. Pennywise. Like balloons, they float. What a creepy clown. His head does rotate, very nicely actually. Uh, up and down, somewhat. Or is Spot actually turning it? You know, it does look like his head does rotate. Okay, his head does rotate up and down, left and right. Very cool. Uh, no articulation in the arms. The arms are staction. There's that word again. Very vibrantly painted, though. Phenomenal paintwork. The beauty of these, too, is if you're a fan of horror collectibles and you just like to collect odds and ends of things horror-related, um, these are actually really good pieces because they're small. They can just sit on your shelf or sit at your work desk. and I don't know if you would just want... Leatherface sitting at your desk at, at your office, people might walk by and start worrying about you or worrying about themselves. But they're fun pieces. And the beauty of it, too, is they're scaled differently. They're not the same size. So I would imagine Chucky would be, again, a little bit smaller. Billy the Puppet, maybe a little bit smaller. I love these. These are awesome. Again, Spot's going to try to get more of these. And uh, certainly, if I do, more reviews will certainly follow. Put these down. Let's show off what we're having a look at today's collectible spot. We're having a look at the Funko Horror Classics Mystery Minis. As a side note to Funko, I hope they continue to release characters like this. This is an awesome line. And you know what? Maybe even let me know down below what characters would you like to see for future horror classic pieces from Funko. I'm looking at this, I'm thinking maybe Maniac Cop. Um... Maybe the Fisherman would be kind of cool as well. Sky's the limits. Sky's the limits. Certainly, thanks for watching as you always do, guys. Stay tuned. Spots got more collectible spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.